Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk about Hike Vision False Alarm Filter. Now, um, I've got to talk about it again because I've had a lot of messages on YouTube and a lot of people go through our description, which is obviously underneath this, through to our Facebook page and messages about the false alarm filter. It's usually the same question, just phrased differently, and it is, I can see the false alarm filter on my Hike Vision DVR, but I can't activate it. So today I'm going to do a really quick video, I'll try and get it in within 10 minutes. Uh, I've just finished work as well, so uh, I'm ready for a cup of tea, um, and show you why you can't activate it, because the chances are you've not got a piece of equipment that you need and that piece of equipment is this and i'm not talking about the camera specifically i'm talking about this thing the little bulb on the front there that is a pir sensor and you've all seen these before in security lights you might have them on your home when you walk down the garden the pir sensor picks you up and switches the light on for a time amount of time that you've preset so side by side two cameras here I've got them taped up because I am going to activate them in a minute and they'll be facing back towards you but this is a standard high vision color view camera white light underneath and the 2.8 millimeter wide lens this is the high vision PIR sensor camera again PIR so it's got a siren and it's got the flashing beacons on it as well and it's got the PIR built in so let's do a really quick scenario in our minds why do I need the false alarm filter which is obviously this thing here once you tick it well you live on the end of a t-junction and you've got this camera outside or a night vision camera doesn't matter which one it is and as the car lights pass as the cars are moving past you they flash over your driveway so your motion detection in your DVR sees it sends a push notification through to your mobile phone and because it's a busy road you're getting a notification every 60 seconds you'll soon get cheesed off with it and turn it off believe me i've seen it hundreds and hundreds of times but it's not the camera or the dvr's fault it can see that light and it thinks it's movement so lots of annoying notifications through to your mobile phone now this camera has the pir so if you place this, it's got exactly the same lens as that. If you place this in the same position, activate the false alarm filter, which is this PIR here. The next time that the car lights pass over your driveway, the DVR sees the motion and goes to send you a notification. But just to be on the safe side, it double checks with the PIR sensor. And basically says, did you see that movement too? And we all know that PIRs do not see light. It makes no difference to them at all. And that is why they're called false alarm filters, because it cuts down the false alarms. Um, Hike Vision say it's about 80%. Uh, for once, I will actually say that a Chinese manufacturer has uh, gone on the side of caution, because I think it's a little bit more than that. I think it could be as high as 85 or 90%. Don't get me wrong. If a spider climbs over this lens and you've got the motion detection activated and it climbs over this PIR at the same time, it's going to fool it. But it's a very rare thing and we are certainly not talking about alarms coming through to your phone every 60 seconds, are we, for car lights? You're not going to get it. Now then, I'll just very quickly take this HDMI lead out here. And this is why I've got these cameras dulled, of course, so I can plug them in without it showing a picture back of what we're recording on. Camera one, clearly that one, and camera two, that one. Doesn't matter that I've got tape on them, what I want to do is show you the menu. So this is camera one, that's camera two. If we right click, left click on system, and left click on event, and it drops us into the normal event, which is exactly where we want to be, motion detection. Smart event has intrusion and line crossing and things like that. So here we are. That's camera number one. We know it is because we can see that just to prove it. 
false alarm filter and target detection. Now, if it's a non AccuSense DVR, target detection will not be on your menu. Now, I'm only mentioning this because it comes set as standard. So I'll click them and apply it. And when it comes out of the factory, when it gets to you, you will not be able to click the false alarm filter with the target detection on. It won't let you do it. It can't do both at the same time. But if I unclick vehicle and human and press apply, I'll now press the false alarm filter and up comes the telltale uh, sign there. The alarm accuracy is related to the camera PIR detection range. Voila. And that's what that is. Now the range is between 8 and 10 metres. And of course you can log on uh, through the internal menu and you can also change the sensitivity of that PIR. You can't do it as in directly from this menu, but if you nip into the chip menu inside the camera, number one of course being at its weakest, and number five, it's most accurate. So you can mess around with that to your heart's content. It's made me aware of that. I press OK and press apply. That's it, it's done. I know it's hard to see in this light, but that little box there is ticked. So, we had camera number two out for you as well, without a PIR on. If I nip up here and put on camera two, again, it's definitely the right camera. The human and vehicle is not activated. I'd taken it off for you, so I could show you in this video. Click away, it won't activate. Just doesn't have the PIR sensor on it. It really is that simple. So I hope this answers uh, a lot of your questions, guys. Um, probably not the answer that you were looking for, but it is definitive nevertheless. So, you know, I don't want you chasing around looking for things that you can't do, searching for, for videos about this when it just won't happen. That is the reason why. Now, um, another thing that's sort of just starting to get through to us because of some of the comments that we've had is... Can we use the false alarm filter in the smart events? So if you go over to smart event and let's click intrusion, which is certainly one of our favorites. Camera number one again, as you can see, even though I've not got the, tar uh, the target detection on, which is the human and vehicle, there is no false alarm filter. It does not work in the smart events. It is clearly for your normal event, which is your motion detection. So just imagine how many false alarms that can save you. Again, I think they've got the numbers wrong because it works extremely well. I have this camera inside my unit and I'm just trying to think how many false alarms I've had on that in 18 months. If, if I've had two, maybe three, I'm not sure. Um, very, very few. And it's because of that PIR sensor. Now there is a night vision camera that has the PIR sensor on it and it has a tiny, tiny little flashing light on it. It's nothing like this, it's not a colour view. Um, it's a night vision camera with uh, night LEDs in it but it has a little light that flashes on it and that actually has a PIR sensor as well. Sorry, the model number um, slips me. If it's important, uh, message us uh, on this video and I'll get that number for you. If not, go on to the description and there's a link through to our Facebook page and you can direct message me there and I'll provide you with that number. I just don't have any on the shelf. Um, I used to put quite a lot in about eight to 10 months ago, but just, I don't know, they seem to have fizzled out, but they are night vision cameras with the PIR in. And of course, you don't have to have the flashing pulsating light on if you don't want. So I hope that's helped you out guys. Again, probably not the answer you were looking for, but the definitive, nevertheless so uh, if you want to subscribe to the videos please do if you don't well that's perfectly fine too it's totally up to you but i would say there are some really exciting bits of technology coming onto the uk market in the next four to six weeks uh, i'm looking for a particular piece of equipment that's uh, maybe just over two months away but if i do get my pause on it before then you know it will be featured in one of our videos. I'm keeping that one a secret. You'll know when you see it. So this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. Stay safe and stay out of bother. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye now.